Hey friends, uh, this is Vikas from Networkers Home and today I'm very excited to bring a new video on something very interesting which I have been using personally now for some time and I was so impressed with the performance being a firewall guy, being a Cisco guy and a CCI, you know, security for a very long time. I wanted to actually try a couple of new firewalls and open source technologies and each of these open source technologies that I'm trying is really impressing me and I was thinking you know to record a video and spread the good word about these technologies to everybody. So today actually I'm recording a video on PFSense and uh, this is the firewall which is there this is the interface of the firewall. I will record another video sometime uh, where I'm going to do the installation of this and uh, in fact it's been almost a couple of days that I'm using this firewall the performance of this firewall, the throughput, uh, the kind of ease of configuration is all amazing, right? Especially comparing to other firewall vendors who are, who are trying to make it more complex. Uh, being open source and uh, having such a mature interface at the same time having, uh, you know, so many features as well. So this firewall is, uh, you know, one uh, must try uh, firewall for anybody who want to try open source. So let's start with the uh, the features here. So the first panel that you have here is system, and the system you see that you have certification manager, cert manager, basically to generate your certificate for HTTPS and for your VPN, SSL VPN, IPsec, etc. Then you have general setup. If you want to run a wizard, you can run that. High availability. Uh, you can install a couple of additional packages. You want to do routing. Here my default gateway is set, but if you want to add a static route, it's very easy to add a static route. You just put a destination and the gateway and that's all. And then you have a setup wizard. You want to start from very beginning, all the features, the whole firewall setup. You can do that. Uh, you want to update your firewall if uh, it is not updated with the new version, etc. So you can do that. I think mine is updated. Yeah, it's uh, updated actually. And the user manager where you can create your users for different purposes and uh, like VPN or for the administration purpose of this firewall itself. And you can put them into group and you can apply different kind of restrictions on the group or you can basically put them into, uh, you know, you can also have third party authentication server like Radius, LDAP and, uh, you know, different kind of uh, authentication servers possible for various purposes like VPN and the local authentication etc. So here I will show you we have interfaces already assigned but if you have uh, these this is actually installed on ESXi and uh, I'm using it to secure our SD-WAN ports and all that. So if I just show you our SD-WAN ports etc. they are actually behind this particular firewall. So they are behind the secure firewall and you see that it's located in Frankfurt, uh, all these ports and uh, they are basically pretty secure and the performance and the speed is pretty good, right? Even being so far located, etc. So the next one is interface. Here I you can assign the interfaces. Let's say I have three interfaces assigned. If I want to assign the fourth interface, so I can have fourth interface. I want to give it a name. I will say DMZ2. DMZ2, I can give it DMZ2, I can give IP address and other things and you can or you can do it later. Right, if you want to enable DHCP server on this, you can do that. You want to enable this interface, you can do that, etc. And uh, the next thing I have is I have these interfaces here, WAN, LAN and uh, DMZ2 that I just created and this is my DMZ1 in fact. And these are in the production environment right now. Let me go back to assignment again. You see that here. Now here I have a couple of features. All these features you will find in other vendor firewalls also. In fact, it has more features than most of the, the pricey expensive firewalls. If you look at it, a lot of firewalls don't have QNQ, right? So here you have QNQ. You have uh, ether channel groups. You have wireless. You want to configure on the inside. Uh, and you have all uh, different kind of interfaces for your you know VPN related stuff, etc. Next one we have is firewall where you can have netting, you can have firewall rules. I have a couple of firewall rules here. I also have NAT going on, right? 
my SD-WAN server is basically behind this. So it's very easy to configure any of that. You can do port for forwarding. You can do one-on-one -on -one netting. Very easy to do that. Uh, you do have a load balancer here. You can do traffic shaping or you can do load balancing. So you can have a VIP virtual IP and behind that you can have your servers and you can load balance. So you have an expensive firewall and a load balancer available in a single package. And that's not all. If you look at the other features you have, you have captive portal. Right. So that's all built in. And a lot of other features are basically there. Then you have IPsec or you have SSL based VPN. You can implement you know all of that so basically if you look at all these uh, three tabs here you will realize the number of features which are available here in this firewall which is zero cost firewall it's an open source firewall with absolutely no cost it's a community version that i'm running and go back here you see the community edition did not pay even a, a penny for this or you although you can donate you can go to the site and you can donate if you want to and uh, my own experience with this firewall is that's actually better than most of the vendors especially the throughput and the performance and the speed and ease of applying the features is much better than most of the vendor firewalls that i've been using for a long time i did use pfsense very long back but uh, that's almost like six seven years back and interface at that time was not this much developed it was not this interesting it was uh, not that ease of configuration at that time it was more like a linux kind of uh, you know config CLI but uh, now as of now this one is just amazing right and I'm sure they will have some kind of support in the future for the open uh, standard SD bands are coming right like FlexiBand and uh, Untangle a lot of companies are coming with open standard SD band uh, softwares which will be able to manage these firewall although there's no official announcement from the PF sense as of now for this. Now, if you look at the kind of load that I have a production server going on, a CPU usage is at 2%, memory usage is at 3%, and uh, that's actually is the kind of production load going on right now. So uh, now let me show you a little bit on the status. You can see all that this is equivalent to the show commands of most of the stuff. You know, you want to see your routes, you want to check your anything basically, you'll be able to do that. So this is equivalent to most of it like show commands kind of thing let's see let me check if we have uh, monitoring here yeah it will show us uh, the kind of uh, you know stuff going on or maybe interface based uh, monitoring here you do show IP interface brief in Cisco or you know the firewalls and other places so similar stuff and I couple of been back I was seeing the routing table and the stuff also here and then we have here it is uh, so here you can see more show features at the same time you have a lot of diagnostic tool you have ping reboot you want to actually check the interface performance in detail and deep you know kind of packets etc you want to check your routes your route table that's all there so the number of feature if you compare it's just huge it's a stateful firewall again uh, it doesn't have uh, the, the couple of other things like url filtering and all that but you can always add on additional package in the, the package manager you can also actually use uh, you know open source url filters etc but for the firewalling perspective if you are in a data center if you are managing your servers you don't have url filter you don't have users for you know in the company you have only the data center, the servers, and behind that, and those, you know, the people are actually coming from outside world. Then you have a load balancer and all that. So for that purpose, it's a great tool. So that's about PFSense, guys. It's a great firewall. One must try this. And I'm also going to cover a lot of other firewalls, open source, and open source SD WAN uh, software reviews, as well as Cisco SD WAN reviews. A lot of videos are coming ahead. Right. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks a lot.